Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today's video is a video you guys requested a lot. So I just did a Versed Impressions video, like a Versed Impressions video with the Jeffree Star Blood Money palette. And I said if you guys get me to 400 likes, I will do a three looks video for you and you crushed it. So today we are doing a three looks one palette with the Blood Money palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This palette retails for $52. You can get on Jeffree Star's website, Beauty Bay or Beautylish, which is where I purchased this for $52, which seems like a lot. This is the inside of the eyeshadow palette. If you guys want to see my first impressions or swatches, I'll leave that video link down below for you. And just a quick a little announcement, you guys are probably tired of hearing about it, but it is Tuesday you're seeing this video. So today is episode three of my true crime podcast, Crime Acts. If you guys are interested in true crime, I'll leave my podcast link down below. It's on all platforms. It's on YouTube. It's on Spotify. It's on Apple Podcasts. It's everywhere. If you guys like in true crime, I'll leave a link down below. We're covering John Wayne Gacy, the serial killer clown, in this week's episode. But let's go ahead and get started with this three looks and review. Of course, let's get the disclaimer out there because you know we need one for Jeffree's stuff. This is not about Jeffree Star as a person. This is literally about the quality of the eyeshadow, making some looks and nothing else. If you don't like Jeffree, trust me, I get it. This is my job, however. A lot of people wanted to see this. I'm here for the quality of the product and nothing more. So if you guys don't like this video, that's cool. I do upload like 25 videos a month. So you can just skip this one and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. The next one may be something you'd really like. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And now let's get right into look number one. We don't need a super long drawn out video. Let's do look number one. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started with look number one. My eyelids are already primed and I think we're going to do more of a darker look. I have three brushes. I'm going to try to get like a um, simple look, but like darker. So I'm going to start off with the shade Jaded, which is this kind of cool tone, medium darkness green ton of kickback in the pan with the shade but it really coated the brush and I'm just gonna buff this over the crease avoiding the center of the eye there was a ton of kickback with that one which doesn't bother me but I know some people don't like super powdery powdery shadows but at least it's pigmented so far but I definitely need to blend this out but I'm avoiding the center of my lid okay so I have this going on my crease the edges are not like buffed out perfectly or anything but I have a little bit of color to start off with so what I'll do now, ooh, that looks really silky. I haven't used that shade yet, but let's build up. I'm going to go into Equity, which is kind of olive -y color. I'm going to put this in my crease as well. The other color is darker, but I don't want just this, this kind of tone of green. So I'm going to add some of the ivy or green color to my crease. It's actually a pretty nice color. Maybe I should have went with this instead of this weird green I put on first. Oh well, I guess I'll be right. I'm just adding to this decrease for a little bit of dimension and break up with that one color. But overall, we're probably going to cover it up anyways. But I just wanted to see how it performs. And honestly, from what I can tell over top of this one, I prefer this color. It's very pretty. Other one's just more of a dustier color. It really didn't like, it blended fine, but it was just so powdery. That I feel like I lost a lot of it the more I blended it out. This second color seems to be better. Just offhand. I'm going to start like the halo-y thing now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Persuasion, which is this kind of darker brown kind of color. No kickback in the pan with that shade. And I'm really going to just deepen this whole crease area as well as the inner and outer portion of my lid. I'm going to put shimmers over top of this, of course, too. But I just want to kind of sketch it out with this darker color. Taking a little bit of the cut crease canvas from Makeup Revolution, and I'm putting this just in the center of my lid here, just so I can get like a really good base for our highlight of our lid. That was so simple. Like, this is my favorite thing about a halo eyes. So all you need is like a little bit of something in the center, and then you're good. I'm going to clean off that brush, go back into it. And for the center of my lid, I'm going to take, let's go with something fun. Let's do Poison Ivy, which is this bright, no, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do Tax Free, which is this ivy green kind of shade for the center of my lid and then for the outer and inner portion of my lid, which doesn't have the cut crease on it. 
I'm going to go into Black Stash, which is this black gray kind of shimmer. So the pop of color on our lid is going to be the ivy shade. I really like ivy kind of colors in greens. I feel like they're so pretty on anyone. So maybe that's what we're going to put that as our highlight. This look looks really sloppy, but however, my contacts are like really not letting my eyes focus today. So I'm just going to put, I'll actually take like a clean brush and some white shadow from another palette and clean up the edges. But for low, now, I'm going to take the E55 shader brush from Sigma on my lower lash line, go into Jaded, which is the first color we used, tap off the excess, and just brush this under the lower lash line. Okay, so this is my eyeshadow right now. I'm going to pop on some lashes, clean up my face, finish it up. I'll be right back, and I'll show you the finished look. All right, guys, so this is the finished look using the Blood Money palette. What do we think of this first look? So I added some big lashes, but overall, like I like the shimmers. I like the center of the lid because it does pop, but it's not too like, like a white pop in the lid. I feel like it's a little different. I feel like it is very green. I feel like it really stands out as a green look, even though I added brown, some ivy or darker greens on top of like four two we started off with, and then that black gray shimmer on the inner and outer portion of the lid. I feel like stacking those other shades on the lid first really made the greens pop through. And overall, I think it's very nice. It's also Jeffree Star's Posh Spice Lipstick. Which I, te I hated, like I hated it first, right? But now I kind of love it. I only have the mini that came in like as an original nude set, so it's kind of dry. Should I restock on this color? Let me know, because I think it's really pretty now that I like like gray tones on my lips. But overall, this is the first look. Let me know what you think. And now let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started with the next look. For this one, I'm going to do something more wearable for every day. People who are going to use this palette as, like, their everyday kind of palette. They love green, but there's also some colors in here, too, that they want to use for, like, work days and stuff. So I'm going to do a little bit, like, an extra work day today. So I'm going to do the E38 Sigma brush from my Sigma brush set, which is a regular blending brush. And I kind of want to dip into, like, some of the colors that don't pop in the palette. Like, don't, like... When you look at this palette, you're like, oh, there's a pop of lime green, there's a pop of the white, there's mint. I want to go for the colors that don't stand out quite as much. So I'm going to take Private Island, which is kind of like a taupey, like a warm taupey kind of shade. I'm going to tap off the excess, and I'm going to put this over my crease. I do have eyelid primer on. It's more of a clear eyelid primer. There's a little bit of staining from that darker color we did earlier. But honestly, with the shimmers and everything, it's going to cover it, so I think it's going to be fine. This color so far is actually really nice and soft and easy to blend out. Not too much cake back in the pan with this shade either, which last look we had some shades that were really powdery. This one's really nice. Like it's softly pressed. It was hard pressed so it doesn't fly up in the air. And then as I'm blending it, it's just subtle but noticeable. Now that we have this nice crease color going on, I'm going to add a little bit of like the greens that we were talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Equity, which is this kind of ivy green we used to build up our crease in the last look. I'm going to go back into here now. Just because I do want this to be a green look still, but I don't want it to be like green in your face. So I'm going to add a little bit to the crease, especially focusing on the outer half right here. But I'm not going to like build it up super, super dark. But I do want it to be noticeably green. It's also a little bit stuck right now, but that should be okay. Now that I have a little bit of color going on in my crease color, I want to, I'm torn between two colors. So I'm going to use my pinky and just put both of them on my lid. So I'm torn between the gold and then this shade, which I swatched in my first impressions video. It was kind of those green, red, brown things. So I'm going to go all over the lid with the money high shade, which was the green, brown shift. I'm going to put it... It's so pretty. I'm going to put it all over my lid. And then once it's all over my lid, I'm going to tap on a little bit of the gold in the inner portion of the lid as well. So kind of double stack shimmer on the inner portion. But I think it's going to be pretty. Like this color is so beautiful. Like look at this shimmer. I don't, well, let me wow, wipe it up there really good. It's just so pretty. It honestly looks more brown and stuff in the pan. And when it was swatched on my finger, on the eyes right now, I just see like a really pretty green, you know, but not too crazy bold green. I'm taking my blending brush from before with no extra product and just blending these shimmers into my crease just to make it all go together. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go back into, well, actually, let's change it up. Let's go into the self-made shade, which is very subtle, soft, uh, cool tone green color. I tap off the excess and you're just going to brush this under the lower lash line with the 
uh, E55 from my Sigma brush set. Alright, so this is my subtle green eyeshadow. It definitely pops a little more after I put that yellowy gold on the front of the lid. But this is my eyeshadow. I'm going to finish my face, add some lashes, all that. I'll be right back and we'll talk about the finished look. Alright guys, so this is the finished look for look number two. This is what it looks like with lashes. Add a little bit of wing liner too. But here is the look up close. Just looks like a blur of green prettiness on my eyes and I'm actually really into it. So this look I think is very everyday wearable. Maybe do a like super nude lip instead of a brown lip if you want to be less subtle even though you are doing green eyeshadow. But overall I think it's really pretty. This look I would wear constantly and yeah, I'm really happy with it. So let's move on to look number three now. Alright guys, for the last look in today's video, I'm going to be doing something bright green. Now we did a dark one, we did more of a kind of neutrally greeny goldy kind of thing, and now we're going to do a brighter one. So I'm going to take an E38 Sigma blending brush, I'm going to dip right into this lime matte shade right here, which is called Chameleon Fetish. And I'm just, is it Chameleon? Yeah, it's Chameleon. I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm going to buff this all over my crease, especially in this first half of the crease. We tried this color in my first impressions and it's really lovely. Like it's a beautiful lime green that actually does show up on the lid. Now if you have a really deep complexion, I would just put a really light primer down first just so you have like a good base to go off of. But I still think it's gonna show up because it looks like it's it's very vibrant and it builds up nicely. The next shade I'm gonna put to the outer, you know I'm gonna blend from the middle to the outer portion of my crease area. I'm gonna go into this shade right here which is called make it rain which is this one it looks so cute it looks like so silky and creamy it picked up really well on the brush a little bit of kickback um, of excess powder but the pan itself didn't have much kickback at all i'm just going to add this to the outer crease area this definitely texture wise feels like a shade you need to pack on then blend out but i'll just put in the extra effort and just blend blend until it's up there because it has made a difference but I definitely would like, if you pack this on with a packing brush and then blend it out, it might be a little faster. I just like using less brushes, you guys. <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of the white cut crease canvas from Jar Cosmetics now. Just a little bit because it is super pigmented. And I'm going to carve out some lid space. I know it's going to take away some of our lime because it's going to cover up a lot of my crease since I have a hooded lid. But I think it'd be fun. Also, I'm not very good at cutting my crease. So if it's not perfect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some liner afterwards when I put on my lashes just to help separate it a little more. If you add a little bit of glitter separation between your, you know, your cut crease, it sometimes makes it look better if you lose your cut crease a lot like I do with the hooded lid. So just adding a little bit of glitter liner or something will help show what you cut out better, if that makes any sense. For the lid, I'm going to go into the very inner portion with this Divine Intervention Icy Green Shade, and then for the rest of it, I'm going to go full brightness, and I'm going to go to Poison Ivy, which is this really bright lime green for the rest of the lid. So it's going to be a really green moment today, which I feel like all three have been. I feel like for look number two, I didn't know it was going to be that, that green, but I'm actually happy with the colors I chose to start building it up so it wasn't just a brown look. And the first one I felt like was kind of muddy, but I also couldn't really see that day, so I feel like it's all okay. I think this one's gonna be really cute once I add lashes and liner and stuff. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna go with the darker color that we did. So I'm gonna go back into Make It Rain right here and just shade my lower lash line. Nothing crazy. Alright, guys, eyeshadow is on. I'm gonna pop on some lashes, liner, lipstick. I'll be right back to show you the finished look and then we'll get started talking about what I think of the palette as a whole. Alright guys, so this is the finished look for look number three using the Blood Money palette. So I have now used this palette four different times, three for this video, one for my first impressions. Uh, let's talk about what I think. Um, but firstly, let me show you this look up close. So this is the look up close. I added a little bit of glitter in between the crease and everything, and I think it's cute. These are also Batty B.I.G. lashes and the Celebrity Skin Nude Lip from Jeffree Star. So this look I think it came out really cute. I like how vibrant and bright it is without being super overwhelming. To me, I feel like if I was gonna wear this much eyeshadow, normally I'd be like, ooh, it's too much. But with green, I just love it. So I don't know. Let's talk about what I think of the eyeshadow palette itself. I hate this opening, you guys. Like trying to get it open with this thing. I hate it. I hate it so I hate opening it. I think the packaging itself is very cute and nice. Um, I would change one thing about the packaging, and that would be I would not make this inside thing 
this paper right here shiny i wouldn't make that shiny i think that's weird but overall it is really pretty i love the color scheme on the inside i feel like there's a couple little neutrals here and there that really make it work i like the gold pop too i would put like a solid really golden sunflower yellow in here i think it really work well with a lot of the greens as well as the kind of neutrally shades we have in here they look really pop especially if you're doing like a lime look like a really golden sunflower yellow would be perfect that's just my only like added i would add in here i don't think we need the gray shimmer I would switch it out for like a yellow matte of some sort. It would be like especially a warm golden like I said. Overall the quality of the palette though is absolutely beautiful. I've had a lot of issues with a lot of Jeffree's Dior palettes. But this one to me is like his best one in a long time. And I, I really enjoy it. I think it's a great palette. And honestly like if you love green eyeshadow $52 is a lot for a palette. But you get a really good variety in here. And the packaging is really nice too. So I, I, I hate spending that much money on eyeshadow, honestly, but also at the same time, it's you're getting a really good quality and you're not going to finish that unless you're like using it every single day. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which your favorite, what, like which was your favorite of the looks in this video. One, two, or three. The dark one, the workday one, or the lime one. Let me know. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have an awesome day. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.